I'm going to show you a few features on Pearson Realize with um, the Quick Checks and the Practice Buddy. If you preview them ahead of time and you see that there are questions that you don't like, um, you can delete the questions and you can also um, add questions that are from Pearson's um, item bank. So I'm just gonna preview and browse to show you, uh, let's just say it's fourth grade. And let's say it's topic one. Topic one, lesson one. On this page, it'll show you all the dip different resources that there are for lesson one, topic one. So when I find the, um, the practice buddy, you can see here that it says customize. I'm gonna click on customize. There might be other versions there because I had made other versions earlier. Um, right here, you can see the description of this practice buddy. This is saying that it's copy three because I've been playing around with um, making new versions of this practice buddy. Um, let's say that this is the question here on the practice buddy and you don't like that question, you can delete the question and it will say this question has been removed from your test. You can undo it if you wanna add it back. But let's just say you wanna add another question in, in um, add another question instead of that one. I can add items from the test bank. And then here it's going to bring up the way that you search for other questions is by the standard. So let's say it's for NBT 1.1. Um, you can do both. Obviously, you can see you can put multiple check marks here, but I'm just looking for NBT 1.1. I'm going to click that and I'm going to put search selected standards. And these are all the places that have questions um, pertaining to NBT 1.1. So let's say I open up this quick check. Here's question one. I'm going to have it show the question. OK, let's say that I like this question. This obviously is for our students, so when you play it, it will read it to you. Let's say I like this question, so I'm gonna click on that. Again, you can click on others while you're here. You might find other questions that you like from other places pertaining to this standard. But then when I go up here, I hit I'm done adding questions. And then as you can see, the question that I found that I liked before is now my uh, question number one. Um, and you can do that for any of these questions. Um, and you can, when you're done, it will take you back to the resources page for lesson one, topic one. And you can see this was the practice buddy again, copy three. I had played around with other, um, making other versions, but you can see that. And then again, you can hit assign so you can customize it. It says that it's been customized. Um, you can also, that was the practice buddy. 
You can also do the same thing with the quick checks. It doesn't say here, but if you click on more, it will show that you can customize. And then this format looks familiar, just like with the buddy check. Um, just like in the buddy quest, um, check, it showed this before. You can also edit this. Like this is also saying like, no, I don't want this to count towards mastery. Um, and then they get one try at each question, no test retake. You can hit, um, you can um, edit that if you need to. Now it's taking me back to the quick check again. I'm going to hit customize. So here it's showing me the question. Um, let's say I like question number one. And again, this is the same format as um, the practice buddy. There's the question. Let's say I want to delete question two. You can delete it. Maybe you don't want to add another item. You don't have to. But again, if you do, you follow the same steps. You add the items from the test bank and search by standard um, and add it just like you did with the buddy checks and then click done and it should show up in your resources again for lessons one one.